bitches. It's a misanthropic one, aka Seven Sovereign, back up in this bitch for another rant. This time I'm gonna be talking about a show in the UK called Top Gear that wants to uh, have a Volkswagen sponsored commercial that depicts suicide in the commercial or displays suicide in the commercial. Now, I'm gonna post up the commercial in the description box for y'all and I want to hear your thoughts and your opinions of it you know my whole thing is and I've said it before I don't think violence in the in in the media you know is a big deal it's not it really shouldn't be because it's part of everyday life you know it happens you know uh what really bother me about this particular story was that it was coming from the UK because I've personally been to the UK and I, I want to say I think it's about after 9 o'clock at night or 10 o'clock the wow the words that come out of those people's mouths on TV you you think you're watching HBO for any of any of my uh, US heads You'd be thinking that you're watching HBO. Uh, I mean, if you hear some of the shit that they're saying after fucking 9, 10 o'clock. So, you know, just a little ad showing this guy. Uh, first of all, let me describe it. It has a guy coming out of a casino, talk, and, and you hear the narrator talking about, oh, this guy bet on... Uh, bet a million or whatever on black instead of red. Then it's saying all this stuff, this bad shit that's happening to him. And the guy's just walking. So he comes up to a corner, just takes a gun and blows his brains out and shit. You know, and then it says, if he had only waited one or two days, I forget what the length of time was. He could have gotten a, a Volkswagen, uh, forgive me if I'm saying this name wrong, uh, Socorro for a discounted price so you know what I took out of it out of that whole thing was hey you know that could have been something that could have you know could have been something to live for for the guy or you know or it's showing us as as a people hey you know if life's bad you know there's always something to live for I took that from the fucking from the fucking commercial. Now, again, I've said this before, people call me a pessimist, a cynic, whatever. I'm not a pessimist, I'm just a realist. But I can see this is where the hypocrisy comes in because I, I'll bet my bottom dollar that the same people that would be calling me a pessimist or have that have called me a pessimist will be so pessimistic about that uh, commercial or that ad that you could watch in the description link. They'll be so pessimistic. Oh, it's showing suicide. Oh, it's violent. My kids. Blah, 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 blah. Wait, wait a minute. There's a positive message in the fucking, in the fucking uh, ad. You know, you, there's plenty to live for. You don't have to kill yourself. That's what I got from it. And that's what y'all should get from it. But I know that hypocrisy will be shown. So all y'all that think I'm a pessimist, you're just as pessimistic as I am. So it is what it is. Like I said, I'm not a pessimist. I'm just a realist. I call it how I see it. So I want to know your thoughts on that shit. Go watch it. Get back at me. Holla at your boy. You know what it is. Leave your love. Leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe, I right, bitches? One motherfucking love. Peace.